Let's cut our name into a pre-made phone case. Go to Import, File, Choose File, Find the STL. I downloaded that from the Thingiverse and then import it. Use a manipulator to rotate it so that we can cut the letters from the bottom. Now, there are pre-made letters we can use and numbers and symbols, but they're kind of limited. If you go to the shape generators under the Tinkercad collection, you'll see text shape generator. Drag it to the case, and it has manipulators to move it in different directions. If you move it incorrectly, click undo. Now I'm rotating the text. And then I can click and drag the text anywhere I want. Just click anywhere on it and hold the left mouse key down. Now I'm dragging another block out and with that little black arrow I can move the text up and then rotate it too and drag it in place. And again if I don't like where I've dragged it I can just click undo. Now I'm going to highlight it to bring up the text field and type what I want. I can change the size of the text by simply grabbing one of the corner grips and that will also change the proportions. If I want to maintain the proportions I'll hold the shift key down while I move the grip. I have to intersect the letters with the case to be able to cut them through the case. Click on it and make it a hole make both text blocks a hole. Then select the case and the holes and group them. And now the letters have cut through the case. Now I'll go to Design, Download for 3D Printing, and download it as an STL. Then I'll find the STL click on it and bring it into Mesh Mixer. Press T to bring up the manipulator to move it like that and then click on the analysis tools and run the ones that you want like the inspector finds holes so I'm going to auto fix them all. It changes it a bit but now it's more suitable for 3D printing. Click Done and then thickness. We can see the red shows it's not real thick there so I can change that with the slider. And then finally I'm going to check its strength and I can't fix that strength here but when I click the print icon to bring it into Mesh Mixer's print area I can do adaptive thickening on it there.